Welcome back, folks. Be Shooter 94. We're here with another Wednesday Night Nitro, August 8th, 2001. Uh, we have a lot to unpack here as this is the first Nitro post uncensored. Hopefully, you all checked that out and you guys enjoyed the show. It was definitely a, uh, a lot, uh, a lot going on in that show. Um, and we're going to go over that momentarily here. Um, first things first, I always like to say thank you to everybody who crushed the view total on that, hitting over 100 views and over 10 likes, so you guys killed it. Thank you so much for that. Um, but let's get into the show, shall we? Uh, tonight's Nitro was in front of just over 3,000 people at John Uliano Park. And we're opening the show with our usual um, video package that opens every Nitro. Um, this time we're using BG, Booker, Page, RVD, and Shane McMahon. Uh, that gets us a 74. Not much really to talk about here. This is simply just the opening video promo of Nitro. Alright, now this is where we get into the meat and potatoes of what happened at Uncensored. So we're going to run through the results. So if you haven't seen Uncensored yet, um, Ignore this and go back to the other show and then catch up. <laughs> uh, but we'll start here. So we had AJ Styles did retain the WCW Cruiserweight Championship over Chavo Guerrero. We had Bob Holly pull off a victory against Rob Van Dam in a chairs match. In a street fight, we had the natural born thrillers Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare retain. Excuse me. We had the U.S. Championship on the line as Mike Awesome was able to pull out the victory in the tables bout against Kurt Henning. And then we also had um, the Cruiserweight Showcase match where we saw Billy Kidman outlast the other 15 Cruiserweight competitors and earn himself a number one contenders match tonight on Nitro against AJ Styles. And in our main event, a fatal four-way ladder match saw Booker T climb the reins and retain his WCW championship. Uh, overall, that show was a huge success financially and overall po uh, popularity-wise, so very very excited with that show um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well I think you guys did from everything I'm seeing uh, but please let me know Don't, I didn't see any comments so hopefully you guys did enjoy it and we can keep going uh, we're almost through the tough summer of 01 and once we hit the fall here it is the the guns are blazing all the way to Starcade guys so lots to going on in the fall here so step up and get ready for it alright so here we go 47 on the video package of the results of uncensored And we are opening the show uh, this week with Shane McMahon comes down to the ring as the owner of WCW. And he announces that Fall Brawl is in September of next month as previously announced uh, in an earlier Nitro. And we have just over a month until that show. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen. Um, not just on Nitro, but in, just in general. There's so much that could happen before that pay-per-view. And he talks about that there's guys coming in to WCW that are about to make a huge dent um, in the in the wrestling world. Um, he has three of them already on lockdown coming into the company. Um, he's very happy with how Uncensored went. And he gets interrupted by the WCW United States Champion Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome comes down to him and says, Look, I don't care about all these new guys coming in. I'm the WCW United States Champion. And I proved on Sunday that Kurt Henning's victories over me were straight flukes and on Sunday I took Kurt Henning out by putting him through a table and Shane McMahon interrupts he goes you know it's ironic that you say that because it looks like tables are your new favorite thing Mike Awesome and you know tonight um, I think you should defend your US title in a tables match and why not go up against someone who likes uh, um, who likes extreme Let's throw him into the mix. So Tommy Dreamer tonight, Mike Awesome, will face you for the U.S. title in a tables match. Um, 71 overall on that rating. 80 from the promo from just Shane. 65 with Awesome and Shane. And then 60 with the match announcement included. Uh, the U.S. title store has advanced. Awesome did not do great, but that's okay. Shane McMahon definitely carried this whole segment. Um, and Mike Awesome is getting better at his gimmick. And... We now have a U.S. Championship match and a tables bound here for Wednesday Night Nitro, a little impromptu match 
Um, so good stuff here overall to open the show. A little storyline progression um, and a U.S. title match comes out of it. So and, and a little bit of a tease of all the guys that you know potentially will be coming in. Uh, we have a lot of guys that we, uh, you know, you know, try to have their um, situation. You know, we have a lot of guys that are going to be coming in to really make this company better and. I'm looking forward to it. So lots of stuff to come, guys. So be ready for it. And we should have our opening contest of Wednesday Night Nitro. And about the hint, decent reaction from the crowd, but subpar wrestling. S.A. Aguila defeats Hugh Morris in 655 by pinfall with the Moonsault. Wrestling rating was a 49. Crowd of 35. Match was a 51. Uh, Hugh Morris a 42. And S.A. Aguila 55. And the commentary lifted the match. So... Um, this is, you know, S.A. Aguila is now going to be integrated into storylines, which you're going to see coming up here in a second. Um, it's time. We, we've had him for about two weeks now. I'm excited to have him, see what we can do. Hugh Morris takes the loss here. That's just what his job is until he's gone. Um, and helps S.A. Aguila hopefully hit recognizable. So that's good. Um, S.A. Aguila is walking backstage after the match. And La Familia, Chavo Guerrero, Cicosis is back, and Human to Guerrero uh, confront him and says, Now that La Familia is at full strength, we need to add more to the family. And SA, we want you to join us. And you know what? You don't have to give your decision tonight. That's totally fine. But we just want you to think about it. And next week, I want an answer. Are you joining us or are you going to be against us? And SA Aguila is kind of. You know, as they walk away, kind of nodding his head, thinking about it. And this is kind of the beginning of a new storyline um, where S.A. Aguila could, is getting involved with La Familia here. Now, it is very similar to the LWO, but we're not exactly going that route. Um, but this would be a nice way to potentially get S.A. Aguila integrated into the, the fold here and make the Cruiserweight division a very, very deep commodity. So 33 on that segment there. Not the best, but we'll take it. Uh, we have a little shot of camera as it shows Booker T arriving to the building. Uh, he is here as the WCW champion. He looks a little banged up, but you know what? He somehow came out with that championship after a chaotic fatal four-way ladder match. 75 on that segment out of Booker. And we have a tag team contest in a poor match. The Young Dragons defeat Jindrak and Stasiak in seven minutes. When Kaz Hayashi pinned Sean Stasek with a cannonball sent on. Our wrestling rating was a 49, crowd a 33, and the match was a 50. We have Kaz Hayashi giving us a 48, Jimmy Yang a 56, Stasiak a 51, and Jindrak a 40. Uh, the trouble in La Familia story has advanced and gained heat. The commentary has lifted the match, and Sh uh, Stacey and Sean Stasiak did great as a pairing. Um... So good stuff here. John Dragons get a nice win. They're starting to build some momentum here in the tag team division. Uh, Post-match, which I knew was going to be a bad rating, which is totally fine. La Familia, Sikosis, and Humatu Guerrero attack Kaz Hayashi and Jimmy Yang from behind, uh, beating them down uh, at ringside. So clearly, Sikosis and Humatu are back in the tag team division here. Um, we're trying to get a little bit of a, a tag team division flow here, so it looks like we're going into a feud Excuse me, with uh, La Familia's Who and Tune Psychosis against Jimmy Yang and Kaz Hayashi. So good stuff here. This is, I know the ratings are not there, guys, but you got to do development here with the, each story and kind of doing something with guys. And this is kind of where we're at. You know, we're not at that point yet where we have a really deep roster. So I have to get very creative on how I'm using guys and what I can do to, you know, kind of make the shows. I don't want to say matter because that's not the right word, but like have depth to them. So, uh, storyline has advanced, so good stuff. And here's a nice matchup in a decent match for the WCW United States Championship. Mike Awesome defeats Tommy Dreamer in a tables match in 1027 when Tommy Dreamer gets put through a table with an awesome bomb. Mike Awesome makes defense number one of his U.S. title. Wrestling rating of 57, crowd of 46, and the segment was a 57. Dreamer got us a 53, and Mike Awesome came in with a 61. U.S. title story has advanced, and the commentary and Mike Awesome are both doing well. Again, a little bit of an impromptu matchup, but uh, Mike Awesome needs to retain here, and just kind of solidifies his U.S. title little run here uh, by beating Dreamer. Dreamer gets a nice showcase. Um, I know he's not exactly thrilled 
with how his WCW run is going, but he's doing a very good job by being a good hand. Uh, so good matchup here for Nitro. Uh, we get a backstage promo as Roddy Piper is with the WCW Tag Team Champions, Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare. And Roddy Piper says, I told you all. I told you. When the Road Warriors came up to us and wanted that street fight, I told them this was going to be the end of them as they knew it, and I was right. Chuck and Sean O'Hare below, behind me here have followed my lead to be as ruthless as they need to be, and that's exactly what they were on Sunday. Next week on Nitro, we are going to have a live funeral for the Road Warriors of, in WCW as we have taken them out of their misery and you know shot the old horse behind the woodshed, and we have taken them out. So next week, the funeral will happen. So 53 on that promo there. So a little bit of a... I'm really trying to add some heat to these guys uh, by having this tag team funeral for the Road Warriors, as stupid as that sounds. Uh, but we got to do something fun here. We got to try and change things up. So good stuff out of Piper, Chuck, and Sean O'Hare. In a decent match, this is for the Cruiserweight Championship, and there's going to be a lot going on here, so please hold. So AJ Styles does defeat Billy Kidman in 12:58 when Kidman gets counted out. So when he gets counted out, the reason he gets counted out is uh, on the Titantron. It shows Daniels holding Tori Wilson captive as he is threatening to cut her long blonde hair. Um, and until last, Kidman walked away from the match um, that he shouldn't have even been in because Daniel says he should have been the man against AJ Styles. That's why Kidman gets intentionally counted out. He runs to the back immediately as the um, Titan Tron kind of shuts down. Uh, the wrestling rating was a 63. Crowd was a 43. Segment was a 60. Uh, Kidman got us a 58. AJ a 68. Holy hell. Both storylines have advanced and gained heat. Commentary lifted the match, and AJ had a great new move. Now, again, we're really kind of doing more storylines where we can here. So Daniels and Kidman are really starting to hit a nice point. Um, and AJ Styles doesn't hurt anything here by being the Cruiserweight Champion. Uh, as the match ends, we see Kidman running up to Tori and saving her. Um, as Daniels is nowhere to be found. 40 rating on that as Tori is obviously distraught. Um, so a little bit of a next level to the, the, the feud here, if you will, um, between Daniels and Kidman. It's starting to get pretty personal here. Uh, with Daniels threatening to cut Tori Wilson's hair. So 40 rating on that. You might kind of know where we're going here, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, 40 rating on that segment. Wow, okay. Booker T comes down to the ring. Uh, and he's, you know, saying that, you know, Sunday night was definitely a a tough one, you know. I had to face three guys in that ladder match, a match I'm not really, you know, adept to being in. And, the violence was definitely picked up, but I still was able to come out as their WCW champion. You know, I fought three of the best guys we have here in WCW and came out on top. Diamond Dallas Page's music hits, though, and he walks down to the ring. And he shakes Booker T's hand and says, Look, man, you were the better man on Sunday, but let's not get this twisted. No one was pinned on Sunday. You just happened to climb up the ladder when you could. So, Booker, tonight... You and I have been through battles for years, right? With that WCW belt at some point, one way or another. So why not tonight on Nitro, we run it back one more time. Diamond Dallas Page versus Booker T. We can even, we'll do it non-title. Let's just see who the better man is. Booker T accepts as Diamond Dallas Page leaves the ring. 60, 89 on the segment, which is incredible. Booker's promo by himself got us a 94. Page and Booker together was a 90. Both storylines have advanced. Booker and Page both killed this. This is awesome. Um, and the segment apparently needed better color commentary, but I don't know if I agree with that. But either way, we have a huge main event tonight, guys. Booker T versus Diamond Dallas Page non-title. And we have a decent match here of a singles belt where Rob Van Dam defeats Mike Sanders in 9.33 by pinfall with a 5-star frog splash. Wrestling rating of 55. Crowd of 38. 61 overall on the segment. Uh, this is a straight up just get Vin Dam a win here after losing at Uncensored. RVD in 80, Sanders at 31. Excuse me. And RVD obviously looked great in being what he is because he's literally just a ratings machine here. So, uh, nice little win for Van Dam. However, 
Uh, Post-match, uh, Bob Holly comes out onto the stage and says, RVD, you're not impressing anybody. On Sunday, I embarrassed you in that chairs match when I beat you and hit that Alabama slam on that chair and pinned you one, two, three. And the only thing that would make me happier, Van Dam, we're both one-to-one -one in this series. How about next week on Nitro? It's Bob Holly versus RVD one final time. And RVD accepts that challenge with a 64 rating on the segment. So we have a match for next week, guys. Uh, let's book this real quick. Hopefully it doesn't show any spoilers. I'm trying to do this as quick as I can here. Okay, perfect. So that's on Nitro next week, guys. Bob Holly and Rob Van Dam. You know that rating is going to be good. <laughs> um, so good stuff there out of these guys. 64 on the segment. And in about the had decent match from the crowd, but subpar wrestling. BG James does get a win in a squash match against Barry Horowitz in 7 minutes with a pump handle drop. Uh, wrestler rating of 48, crowd of 37, 53 on the match here. This is simple. Get B B BG James on the card and give him a win after losing that fatal 4-way match. Uh, BG got us a 63. Commentary helped us out a little bit here. Uh, like I said, BG just needed a win. I don't want him losing momentum, so that's all this is. Quick little squash with a, a guy who's definitely been around. Um, nothing really more to say about this. Um, as BG James is walking through the back, him and Lance Storm um, confront each other. And BG and Lance are saying, you see this BS tonight? Paige is in the main event against Booker and a love fest between each other. And you and I both couldn't come out with the WCW title on Sunday. Yeah, we gotta do something about that. Let's go. Uh, let's go figure something out here. Let's go uh, talk to Shane McMahon. Sixty-seven on that segment out of Storm and BG James. So something's brewing here um, before this main event. And in our main event of Wednesday Night Nitro, and about that had fantastic heat and good wrestling. Booker T draws with Diamond Dallas Page in thirteen minutes when the time limit expires. However, that's not exactly what happened. What happened is they drew. Because Lance Storm and BG Jam attack DDP and Booker T, leaving them laying in the ring as they have taken the WCW Championship. So Lance Storm and BG James have left uh, the ring with the WCW title as, B as Booker T and Diamond Dallas Page are both laid out in the ring. 68 on the wrestling rating, 71 on the crowd, 66 on the segment. Uh, Booker 76, Page is 61. Both storylines have advanced. Booker was off his game tonight, but that's okay. Uh, the commentary lifted the match. So let's see what our final segment was, which is the attack uh, by Storm and Booker just beating these two down and leads to BG and Lance Storm taking the WCW championship from Booker T here um, as the other two are left laying. So the WCW championship has been stolen by BG James and Lance Storm. 83 on that segment there. Both storylines have advanced. Obviously, all the green here means good things. Everybody did great. Let's see what we get for a show rating. I'm feeling a good high 70 here. 71, we increased our popularity in 10 regions, which is great. Um, I'd like to see what you guys think about this show. I know we did some storyline stuff here. La Familia and S.A. Aguila. We have La Familia attacking the Young Dragons. Uh, we have the funeral next week for the Road Warriors. Uh, Kidman and Daniels took a whole different turn tonight. Uh, and then Van Dam and Bob Holly now have a match next week. And then what's going to happen now with the WCW title? BG James and Lance Storm stole the belt from Booker T and laid him and DDP out. So lots of stuff to talk about and go over next week's Nitro. I want to say thank you all for liking the videos and viewing them and enjoying them. Throw some comments in there, see what you guys are saying. But until then, we're going to see you for the next Nitro coming up soon.